so I came to this training about just over two years ago, I think. <coughs> and at that point in my life, I was feeling very disconnected and very cynical and jaded about life and the world. And I could see that really a lot of my life I'd been looking for a sense of connection and channeling a lot of my energy into, into finding experiences or groups of people that could give me that sense of belonging. And I had some wonderful experiences, but they never seemed to be stable and last. There was always something along the way that tripped me up. And so I'd form friendships, and then, for some reason, it all seemed to unravel. Um, or relationships, but unable to keep that going. And um, so when I first came to this training, I can remember coming to like, my first meetings and just seeing this incredible openness and warmth and, and connection. So much so that I actually felt, wow, these people are really weird. <laughs> I just couldn't, at first I couldn't completely understand how that was possible. And so for a little while I was a little bit distrustful of, you know, is this, is this real? Are, are people, you know, are they just kind of fooling themselves to be this warm and open and friendly? Um, So just going through that process of doing the empowerments, what a powerful experience that is to share all of the experiences that have molded you or you feel have molded you in your life, my life. And to know that fundamentally, no matter how much I felt and I feel I, an outsider, that we share so much, that we have so much in common and we all feel incredible love and also incredible affliction. And just knowing that, just sharing those experiences was the start for me to really opening my life, to having a life which is connected, where I feel like I can have friendships that are stable and last, that I can do something positive in this world and not just keep on going through the cycle of trying to feel okay, falling down, and then scrabbling around for something new, which was kind of my life up to that point. Um, yeah, so I had a few experiences early on which kind of were very instructive to me about the power of this teaching. I used to suffer lots of anxiety, lots of social anxiety, but also just anxiety and depression in general. And I remember quite early on in the training <clears throat> having this experience of immense anxiety just by myself. I think I was just in the house by myself. But also remembering, okay, all experiences, they just flow on by. And just for the first time relaxing and just seeing that that is the case, that nothing is stuck. And then suddenly it just all sort of released. So it was just like, wow, how did I never know this before? I mean, it's so obvious. <laughs> it's so simple and obvious. Um, but we're never told that. We're never shown that our experience is that way, really. So just getting confidence in that is, has been so helpful for me to, to really know that all my afflictions, all my anxiety and depression is the power of my life and is so useful. So useful because it connects me to everyone. I can understand people's experience. And whereas in the past, I would have really just taken that as a sign of, oh, everything's wrong, things need to change. Now it's just like, okay, this experience I can be with and actually feel its beauty. And that's how I'm beginning to experience it more and more. When I have strong affliction, I can really feel 
a sublime quality to it. And that's just incredible. I just, I mean, wow. What, what an opportunity in life to have that ability and to know that everyone can do that. Yeah, I, I also, also had a, a sort of ambivalent relationship to the mainstays at first. I was always a person that was kind of um, a little bit skeptical about community or any kind of group thinking. And so it's taken me a while to feel confident that this is actually just a support structure which is all about empowering you, to be, to empowering me to be the best individual I can be. Um, and really that relationship with the trainers being so crucial to that, so pivotal. So at first I was kind of like, why would I let someone know the most inner wor innermost workings of my mind, my thoughts, my emotions, why would I do that? That's such a scary pro proposition and like felt like, ooh, someone's gonna take control. Um, but all it's ever given me, that relationship, is this immense ability to see through my my immediate data and be able to love people. So in my relationship with my family, for example, I had really ambivalent relationships with my family to the point of, of um, breaking off relationships for a time during my life. And without that support from a trainer, that could have continued or got worse. And there's just been so much incredible support from my trainer to, to really allow those relationships to flourish without having to react to every single thing that happens. Just being stable in myself, that's just naturally unfolded into these really beautiful relationships where there's just a natural flow of love. And I just see it more and more. The emails I get from my father now are just like, wow, they're like love letters. It's just so beautiful. It's like, wow, that's such an amazing relationship. And with my sister, my sister like confides in me and tells me things about her life which I would never have imagined she would do before. Because she, there's a trust there. There's a trust that I'm not just there to, to try and get something from them because I'm desperate. It's I can, I can be okay myself without needing to scrabble around anymore. So it's been absolutely crucial in that development and, and remains so.